Right then, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, old schoolers, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to teach you how to have a free Go XLR on your PC. Easy as peasy. Let's go. So, as I just said, this video is going to be how to get a Go XLR for free on your computer. Same settings, same control, and it's going to be the best thing that you could ever do to enhance your streaming experience. But first, before we do any of that, rolling down here is going to be our social. So give them a follow. That's our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. We go live on Twitch every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and every other Thursday from 7 until 10.30. We post on YouTube every Monday and Thursday with new content for you to help you all out. So as I said, this video is going to be explaining to you how to basically get, effectively, a GoXLR audio control system on your computer the whole thing is virtual the whole thing is free you again like all my things you can put money in towards it to make it even better than it already is but this is a free way on how to use voice meter potato without having all of these issues in its most simplest form voice meter potato is very very scary looking it's really really intense and there's a lot of features and a lot of settings and a lot of things that don't make much sense but we're going to literally overview it so simply i'm going to tell you exactly what to click and just follow it and you should be able to be set up and ready to go by the end of this video however Let's talk about why you might even want voice meter potato on your computer. So basically, in short, the reason you'd want to get voice meter on your system is basically it's very similar to a GoXLR, however, the whole thing's virtual. But the reason why you'd even want that is because in short, you want to have more audio control of your mic, of your games, of your music, and of your Discord. And this is a way of separating all of those audios from one another and pumping them through something that you can control. Effectively, it's just a fancy Windows media control thing like this type of thing you know the thing that you right click on and change your audio levels effectively it's just that but it's just making it even easier for you and i'm also going to show you a method in this video on how to split the audio from your headphones to your stream so say you wanted to play music in your stream but you didn't want to hear it on your headphones you could do that using this software and out of every feature that this this, this software offers you, I think that's one of the best things. Being able to hear on your gaming headphones, but not on the stream kind of thing, and being able to decide who hears what is such a control thing, and it's amazing, and it really does streamline your streaming. One thing I want to say from the get-go, to have the split audio between your headphones and streaming so they hear different things, you do need a PC. You, ideally, you need a desktop that's got two audio jacks. So my one has one in the top of the computer and in the back of the computer going through the sound card. And that allows you to have the two separate audio outputs and it allows you on Streamlabs to choose which audio output you want to use. So let's head over to the computer. Let's give it a whirl and hopefully you can follow this as easily as it is presented to you. Right, so once you're onto your PC, what we're going to do is navigate to this website, which is vbaudio.com forward slash voice meter forward slash potato. And you're going to want to download this. I would scroll down and preferably go for voice meter 3.0.1 exe file because the zip package just gets a bit confusing. Download and install that one. What you have to do is restart your computer once you've installed that. Once your computer has restarted and that's installed, you're going to go back onto the same website and you're going to go to virtual audio cable along the top. Again, links are in the description below. And you're going to want to download the driver pack for VB cable driver pack for your computer. Download that, install that. And once again, you're going to want to run these installs as admin as well as want to restart your computer before you try anything else. So once you've got those two downloaded, you'll have a new thing on your system are called a voice meter potato if it's not here then do search your search bar and it should appear so once you open that up you're going to see this and it's going to be very very intimidating but do not be intimidated we're going to do a very very simple overview on the exact settings you need to do in order to use this to control your stream so the first thing you want to do is find your microphone so under this top one here this first column here we're going to click on it and simply collect click WMD microphone and so mine's the Q9 so it says it in the brackets usually this front bit may be different but whatever's in the bracket is the main source so you click on that and then you're going to get your microphone set up if you start talking to it you'll see it starts going up and down and then down this column here you're going to want to select beat which is that one in the second column we're going to want to click on here we're going to do either mme or wdm doesn't really matter but we're going to click on cable output in the brackets it will be vb audio virtual cable and that's going to be what the windows name of it do remember what this is called because we need it in a minute right so once you've got those two selected we're going to go straight over to a1 and a2 again i've mentioned this before but this could this works best if you have a computer system that has a sound card and an additional headphone jack because you can put things out to do different exits so a1 I've got it set to my Realtek High Definition, which is my headphones, which happens to be the sound card. 
and then my A2 I'm setting to my other Realtek high definition. So obviously there's a very similar name, so it can get confusing. One of them is basically the headphone jack in the front of my PC, and the other one is the headphone jack in the back of my PC. This just means you can control your audio going into your stream or into your headphones. So if we jump back over to our column here, where we did the cable output, we're gonna click A1 and click A2 so they both turn green. This basically means that any audio that comes in through here will come out of both A1 and A2. So theoretically in your Streamlabs, if you have it set so that you have your one headphone, one's your headphone and one's your streaming, if you turn off A1, you will no longer hear it in your headphones and you will only hear it in stream. It makes it a lot easier to control. So once you've got that set up, we're gonna go down to our system tray we're going to right click on audio and click on open or sound settings. From here, you're going to want your output device to be either where your A1 or your A2 is going. And then in order to allow all sound from programs to go into your output cable here, we're going to click on app volume device preferences and we'll play some audio. You'll have to have audio playing for it to show up. So now we're playing audio through here. What you'll now notice is this will appear and then on your down next to it, you'll have your output. You want to set your output to the cable input, which is what we just put onto the other system, which is classes cable output and um, bracket VB audio virtual cable. And that will pump everything from the browser through that cable into here and then out of A1 and A2. And if you look, if I turn those both off, you can't hear anything. If I turn A2 on, you can just about hear it. And if I turn A1 and A2 on, I can hear it as well. So that's how you can control the volume. So you'd want to do this for all of your apps. So you'd want to do it for your OBS so you can hear your sounds coming through. I've got it generically for there. I also have it for Spotify. So if I play, so Spotify is being played currently. Um, that will come up as an option here. And again, you just change that to cable input VBA. Now to get your microphone to work in Streamlabs, let's bring that one over. And to get this all working in Streamlabs, you want to make sure that your voice meter stream audio is the stream microphone headphone jack, sorry, that you set up in the previous one. So for us, we have customly set the name. So it says streaming, as you can see here. So when you look for your audio source, when we go to properties, it will say streaming. So now we know that all audio that coming into Streamlabs OBS is coming from A2. To get the microphone through, you wanna to go to your preferences, uh, to your properties even, and you wanna to wanna to select voice me at AUX output and that will put all audio through this virtual B1 that we set up a minute ago. So then you will see that your microphone is being picked up. You'll see your audio is being picked up and it's all running through here. Obviously I haven't gone into massive details about it because I don't want to overwhelm people because it's quite an intense thing. I've literally just said this is exactly how you set it up if you've got two headphone jacks on your PC. So let's head back to Jonathan. Let's have more of a chat. Right, so I hope you found that video useful and I hopefully it was easy enough for you guys to follow. I know the software can be intimidating looking and quite intense, so I wanted to make it a simple tutorial where you can literally look at it, click, 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 follow exactly what I'm doing and it should be set up. As always, if you have any other issues, please do look in the comments below, comment in there, let's chat about it, let's get this working for you. And like I said, it does work best on a PC, computer, desktop, as most often PC computers have two audio output areas from the headphone jack and the sound card in the back. So it does allow you to have that split audio from the get go. Um, my next video is gonna be surrounding voice meter potato as well, but how to use it on one of your stream decks. So as you know, I use touch portal, which we can see in this video up here. Basically what we're gonna do in that video is get our voice meter control onto that phone. So the middle of the stream, no tabbing out. All you've got to do is click a couple buttons on your phone and you're muting audio, you're turning things up and you have control. And effectively you have built a Go XLR for nothing on your phone and on your computer and it just works beautifully. So that's our video done for today. As you may see, I have a uh, special t-shirt on. Let's have a look. It's one of my first pictures of merch that is up on the store currently at Big Cartel. There'll be a link in the description below. If you'd like to purchase one, that'd be amazing. It will support the whole stream. All of this will be supported. All the money that you guys give to me goes back into making these productions even better and better. I love it and I'm so happy for this and it's come out beautifully. And once again, this was made by the amazing Deadweight Design on Instagram. So I'll link him down below as well, just so you can go and chat to him and maybe get your own piece. But other than that, we're done for today. Socials are flying by here. Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. As I said earlier, we go live on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, every other Thursday and every Sunday from 7 till 10.30. So hopefully we catch you on there. If not, let's catch you in the next YouTube video and have a lovely one, guys. Take care. Bye.